What's going on guys and welcome back to our next week of this futures trading challenge here with CoreFX. Um, this is the start of a new week, a fresh week. As you guys saw, I put up a video starting it off last Friday. Today is now Monday. We are going through the first live week with the trading account. Um, I hope everybody enjoys this video. I'm going to be diving into every single day's trades that I take, outcomes, and the uh, overall count change, the PL reports for the day, where we're at. Um, and really just going to give you a full on behind the scenes look at my journey through this futures um, challenge. So we'll see how this week goes. I'm going to go ahead and dive into the charts here every morning with you guys as I'm breaking down these trades, as I'm hopping into them. These videos will be short and sweet to the point, show you where I'm at in the challenge, how I'm doing. Um, if you guys are interested in taking the challenge yourself or learning about it, reach out to me. But um, I'm going to show you guys my journey. Full week one here. Technically, it's week two, but this is our first full week. So we're going to be diving into the charts here. We'll see what setups we have. We'll see how we do. Win or lose, you guys will be watching the ride. So I'll go ahead and let the camera start rolling. All right, guys. So here's my setup for today so far. Found our range. Got in long on the 15-minute chart on a break and close above it we're now long got a 15 tick stop as you guys can see right now we're up six ticks 60 bucks we got our hourly resistance identified up here 56.55 this is where our target range is for this move so we'll be seeing if we can catch this ride up to this level catch a nice 30 ticks and move on with uh, our first win of the week could turn around and stop us out we'll wait and see either way i'll keep you guys posted We'll be following this trade. As you can see so far, it looks like we're moving up pretty nicely, up 10 ticks. Here at the Brent Open, 5 a.m. Eastern Time. This is where we're in. This is our setup. Week 2, day 1. It's Monday. Let's see how it plays out. All right, guys. So our first trade here on Monday, week 2, um, got stopped out right here, 56.10. Got stopped out about two hours into the trade. Um, market started to break out. And then as you can see, I've reversed, and we are now back inside of our range. So for now, stepping back, going to wait and see what price does, see if we get another opportunity here today. Again, we have our own um, rules in place. So we get one more trade to give it a shot today. If it's a loss, we're out for the day. If it's a win, great, the day continues on. But um, that's the trade so far. Got in long here at the top of the range. Thinking it would break out, it did move about 10 ticks in our favor and then turned around and came back to stop us out. So no big deal. That's how it works. Got stopped out here on the first day of the week, on Monday, week two. And we'll see how it goes from here. All right, guys. So we got another day in the books here. Um, went over my trade from earlier this morning. I got in a long, let me drop this down to the 15 minute chart. I got in a long setup here on crude oil at the break of my range. Price pulled back, stopped us out, small loss, 17 tick loss. Got back in long up here. Got in, I wanted to get in closer to down here, but I got triggered up here and we rode it up for about a um, 30 tick increase so again sticking to our risk management and our rules the day's profit and loss is up 120 so I won one and I lost one but we are up $120 on the day so winners more than losers as you guys can see the account balance now is sitting at 50,355 so we're up 355 Probably not going to see another setup play out today. Um, I'll be keeping an update, keeping an eye out. And if we do have a setup play out, I will certainly be documenting it. But today is Monday. Two trades in the book. One small loser, one decent winner. Um, Could have caught more out of it. It did go up an extra uh, 25 pips higher. Ticks, sorry. Didn't use this futures talk. Did go up an extra 25 ticks higher than... We had cashed out at, but our target was hit. That's where it was met. I'll show you guys a little bit of where I set the target at this. Um, let me see the hourly. 
it was an hourly pivot resistance level that I set it at. So it's right around here, this hourly pivot you guys can see, overhead resistance right in this area, cashed out once we hit that level, and yes it did blow through it, but our risk to reward was uh, achieved. Sorry, 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 that's where we got into the trade guys, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place right now. This was our um, pivot and resistance in the settlement price here, all right? So this is where we got into the trade, this is where we got out of the trade when we came up to this resistance level. Got out a little premature, but I my two to one was hit. As you can see, this was the size of the loss. I'll put a little line here for you guys so you can see it. All about risk management. This was our loss from there to here. And this was our gain from here to here. So might not be exactly, let me see, this is a little big. Might not be exactly a two to one, but just about, right? So there's our entry. Just about a two to one risk to reward. So um, we won one, we lost one, and in the day positive. We're not going for home runs here right now. We're just going for base hits. That's all we're doing right now, trying to show consistency, trying to you know show that following our plan, following our system works. And uh, another profitable day in the books. We're up to fifty thousand three hundred fifty-five in the account. So I'll continue documenting these guys. Tomorrow's trades will be illuminated here. Um, anything else that I potentially get into today as well, I will document for you guys, but this is where we stand. Monday, week two, day one, profitable day. Um, one loss, one win, up 120. All right, guys, we'll see what tomorrow has in tune. All righty, guys, so it is Tuesday, um, second day here, the second week. We are in our first trade of the morning. Got a break of our range, long, got in a little bit higher than I would have liked again a um, few ticks off where I would have liked to have entered but we're in long it's 56.63 here our targets up here 56.93 30 pip target price is well on its way so um, hopefully we're gonna get up here hit this target and we will be done for this long got a little bit of uh, exhaustion coming here after this massive candle but leaving our trade as it is looking to ride it up to our take profit up here um, if it pulls back, that's fine. We might get a retest this zone before it continues higher. But again, we've got a 30 pip target up here, 15 pip stop down here. This is where our trade is. This is where we're at. I told you guys I'd be showing you all this live as we go. As you can see, my account balance is at 50,463. So we're up 110 right now on the day. That's why we're at 50.463. Uh, we are at fifty thousand three hundred and fifty dollars to start today so uh, we'll see how we end on the day hopefully we hit this target and potentially won't have any other trades for the day it'll be another winning day in the books but we will wait and see guys all right so stay tuned i'll catch you guys with the updates on this trade and whatever is going on the rest of the day thank you what's up guys we are back here again it is tuesday later on in the day here um 2 41 p.m Trading day's done for me. As you guys saw, I got into a long setup earlier today at this Blue X. Got out up here, made um, 44 ticks. $440 is the profit on the day. So we're continuing to grow this count here. As you guys can see, we're up to 50,792. The challenge is to get it up to 53,000. So we are a couple days into our first week here, and we are at $50,792. So I told you guys I want to keep you posted, keep you live updated as I go through this futures trading challenge. Um, and as you guys can see, so far so good. You can see here our PL for the day, um, trading crude oil here with our breakout strategy. And uh, yeah. As you guys can see, we're doing pretty good, up to 50792 so about $50,800. We got in long here on this breakout, luckily took profits up here, price reversed after, so um, got in, got out, both at the right times, caught the move, caught this bull candle, this bull candle, got out, took our profits, cashed out. So nice trade, obviously it went up an extra 15 ticks or so higher than where I took profits, but it also came back and reversed down to where our stop loss was. So 
Can't take get broke taking profits, right? Um, that does it for today's trading, guys. It's Tuesday. I will obviously be back tomorrow morning, Wednesday. It is the um, inventories news for oil every Wednesday, so I won't be trading much. I will hop in for a little bit in the morning if I get into a trade before the news, but other than that, I'll be flat by 10.30 a.m. Eastern time, probably even a little before then if I even do take a trade. All right, guys, that wraps it up for today. Doing pretty good here on our first week with the account. I'll catch you guys in the next. All right, guys, uh, we're back here another day. Today is Wednesday, March 6th, day three of our second week here. Um, it's 6 a.m. Eastern time, and I just triggered a short trade. We had a break of my range. Price came back, retested on the 30. Closed the shooting star rejection candle, rejecting this zone. I'm going to take it short. Ride it to the most recent hourly pivot. Look at left. You can see this is around 55.70, 55.69. So I'm looking to catch these 30 ticks lower. As you guys can see right here, that's the move I'm trying to catch. I got my stop 15 ticks above the entry, which is going to be up here. It's at 56.15. So this is our stop here. We got our target down here. Looking to catch this little 30 tick swing. Hopefully this will be an easy in and out. Done for the day. I've got to be flat in a few hours before the U.S. oils inventory report. Not trading that fundamental news. Too much price action and whipsawing and, <clears throat> you know, these technicals kind of get thrown out the window with events like that going on. So this is where we're at today, guys. Again, from yesterday's trading day, our balance is now at... 50,770 now that we're opening this trade right now we're floating it around minus 20 um, but we're still up on the account fifty fifty thousand dollars seven hundred seventy cents doing the challenge to fifty three thousand without losing more than a thousand bucks in a day or two thousand bucks overall um, all right guys this is the challenge this is day three we're on Wednesday I'll update you guys with the results of this trade and I'll catch you in the next one all right guys so we're back here it's still Wednesday day three week two um, I showed you guys I got short after the close of this rejection candle. Unfortunately, the next candle has shot all the way up to, to stop us out. This blue X you can see right here is where we got stopped out. Pulling it up, you can see we lost 150. Overall account sits at $50,638. So down 150 bucks um, on the day. It's Wednesday, news day, so I'll be letting it go at that. Um, I'll be looking for longs above this top of this range potentially here in the next hour or two If I don't get the right setup, I'm done for the day So I will keep you guys posted if there's any trades any updates. I will let you know Otherwise, I will catch you guys in the next one next trade All right guys, so welcome back here Wednesday um, It is now the afternoon We got in a short earlier today that I had showed you guys on this shooting star candle Got in short in this red X, got taken out long. Um, our stop loss hit here with this buy on this X. Price has been some pretty sloppy price action, typical of a Wednesday. This is why we try to avoid the oil inventories news days. But as you guys can see, another day in the books here. Um, right now, the account balance is sitting at $50,638. Um, today's PL was minus 150 off that small loss, but we'll be back at it tomorrow. Wanted to do a little midweek recap for you guys here, taking it up to our um, main account. This needs to be reset at 5 p.m. today, but as you guys can see, uh, we have a few trading days in the books now. This will be up to four. Um, and as you guys can see, we've got uh, an average winning trade of $372, an average losing trade $163, so it's over a two to one risk to reward. That's exactly where we want to be. We've suffered some losses. We've suffered some wins. Um, but all in all, we are up on the account. So again, we are trying to grow this 50,000 to 53,000 without ever going below a $2,000 drawdown. See, reach 50,000, reach 3,000. Um, can't lose more than 1,000 a day. Can't trade more than five contracts at any one time. And account gap balance can't go below which is gonna be a rolling $2,000 drawdown. So I can never be lower than a $2,000 drawdown. It was 48,000, but since I got the account up to 792, that is our watermark. Now we are at 48,792. 
So we have to stay above that. Um, those are the rules. We're going to get this to 53,000. I'm doing this account live with you guys. I'm recording every day, showing you guys all this, no BS. Um, see what I trade, how I trade it, and what my account balance is as I go. All right, guys. I'll tune in with you guys after a few more trading days have gone down. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying this. We are in the middle of the full first week with the Futures Trading Challenge here at CoreFX. Thank you, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. All right, what's going on, guys? It is now March 8th. It's Friday, 5.22 a.m. here, U.S. session. Um, Thursday, unfortunately, didn't get too much. Did miss a long trade that happened while um, happened before I was trading. Broke out here above the range. Would have been a nice pip, nice tick, uh, about 50 tick gain up to here. Would have been a nice trade. Unfortunately, happened outside of my trading time. I got on here at 4.30 a.m., it had already moved all the way up here, so I was looking for it to come back and reverse off this resistance. Now turn support, but it never did. Ran away, hit the resistance up here, sold off pretty sharp, and then just stayed range bound most of the rest of the day. So nothing really going on there. Today we've got some setups I am watching here. Annotated them for you here. I'm looking for a reversal of short. If we come up to retest this zone or this zone, looking for some reversal patterns there. Um, and if we're able to come up and um, break this 56.23 range here to the upside. That is my trigger for long. We've got a nice little downtrend here, a nice resistance level. If price does come back up to there, around stronger moving parts of the day later on, US Open, things of that nature, WTI, um, I'll be looking for longs to the breakout to the upside. But right now, I'm just trying to piggyback this strength to the downside. We've got price making lower lows, lower highs, broke strong support here. So if we get a rejection, I don't just wanna try to jump in as it's falling. The risk to reward's not there. The setup's just not there. So I want it to come back to me. I want it to show me it's correcting, that there's more sellers stepping into the market or getting a rejection of some sort and sells off and then catch the next ride lower. All right, guys, so that's what I'm watching for. I'm actually uh, heading out here shortly, going to a futures trading seminar all day at Trade Station. Got uh, Larry Williams, Linda Rashnick, a lot of big... Uh, trading names there so hopefully have a good day I'll be documenting that as well but um yeah guys that's about it so far for today's setups I'll do a video recapping the week and I'll include it in here so you guys can see how this um, first full week went right now you guys can see the account is sitting at 50,638 so the same we stayed after that lost Wednesday morning um, haven't been too active this week. Unfortunately, missed a couple moves, but that's all right. Live to see another day. Uh, we're still positive on the account pretty well. So we're just going to take it day by day, trade by trade, and not force anything, not risk too much. Follow our perfect risk parameters, and you guys can continue to watch this challenge unfold as we you know, continue to get this um, oils market down and learn how this market moves and catch some of these breakouts. All right, guys, that does it for this Friday setup. I hope you guys have a great rest of the trading day. I'll be in tune with you guys. Hopefully we catch some shorts later here that I can document for you guys. If not, good trading week once again, and we will get started next week. Alrighty, my friends. So another week down here of the futures trading challenge here at CoreFX. Um, as you guys can see, we are in the trade report right here within my account here at Top Step Trading. Um, and the current balance ending this week is $50,444. Uh, a little bit low off the high. We got it up to $50,791, but um, lost a little bit of money back. Now we're back down to $50,444. So um, we're still up on the account. As you guys can see, our risk management is still on point. We have an average winning trade of $372, average losing trade of $168. So that's over two to one risk to reward. Right now, we're only sitting at a 42% win percentage. We're winning about half the trades placed, but because of our risk to reward ratio, we are up on the account. So again, guys, I'm just demonstrating to you how easy it is to follow strict risk management rules. I'm trading a market I've never traded before, charts I've never even looked at before, and an asset that moves in a way I've never followed closely or, or I'm familiar with. So um, showing you guys raw trading when you take experienced trading practices and apply them to any market, what the power of it can be. So we'll see how this account continues to move forward. We'll see how we end next week after another week of trading. We'll see how this continues to go. 
But so far right now, we are still in the green. We're still positive. We've lost more than we've won, yet we are still net positive on the account. All right, guys, so I will keep you posted. I will continue to update every trade that I place so you guys can stay up to date with it and see as the account goes up or down or stays around the same where we go. All right, guys, I appreciate it. I hope you guys are enjoying this again. This is the Futures Challenge account for crude oil. Corey Smith here, CoreFX, Top Step Trading. I'll catch you guys in next week's video.